protesting the practice to the front office, to the Red Sox front office in 1983. Every time I protested against what I thought was an injustice perpetrated by the Red Sox front office, I always gave them an opportunity to correct the situation before I went to the press. So in 1983, I went to the Red Sox front office and told them that this practice of bringing the Elks Club official into the locker room to distribute cards to only the white players and the white staff only was hurting the morale of the African-American players. And I told them this. And I walked out of the meeting, they said they'd take care of it. Next year, same thing. So this practice went on from 1972 to 1985 until a writer from the Boston Globe approached me and asked me about the practice. I told him the truth. I didn't, I didn't make up anything. I just told him what the experience was with the Elks Club. And eventually, I was fired because I spoke up against the practice. Now, they said I was a bad coach, but we all know. <laughs> right, we all know different. <laughs>